Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey, but all my friends call me Kels, girl. Um, and welcome back to another video. This is about to be a couple days in my life. It is currently Friday the 15th, and we have a date, y'all. We have a date for when Mark gets back, and I'm very excited about that. He gets back on Tuesday the 19th, and even though it was pushed a little, I'm just really glad we are, this is it. This is the home stretch right here. So this is about to be a couple days in my life. Um, trying to transition back to going home. It's been such a long time coming, but honestly, I'm very glad that I decided to come to my parents because I would have struggled so hard doing this alone for the past six weeks. What I'm about to do now is start packing up my stuff and literally just leave the things that I need. Um, pajamas and a couple of outfits for the next couple of days and pack everything else up and start putting in the car. The reason being is because when Mark left, he was working. He, he like working as in he got all the girl stuff, got all our stuff, moved it, helped move other things. And then now he's gone to work and my mom doesn't want him to come home and have to work again as far as like moving us all back. So we're gonna do that literally a little bit a day. Um, that way when he gets home, he could just chill, you know? Um, so we are going to do, like I said, just a little bit each day up until um because remember the last time we got like a u-haul stuff we're not going to do that we're just going to again take little things as we go so first things first is starting with the clothes <laughs> and a wake up baby two sleeps and a wake up and dad will be home daddy's home home uh -huh. mark will be home on tuesday uh he chose like one of the earliest flights out so that is very good so literally he'll be here tuesday morning like by seven o'clock <laughs> love that so very excited so like i said earlier we uh are trying to move some of the stuff we never got to moving any of the stuff because like the girls one was awake one day i mean like one time and one was asleep so we could never get them like on the ride it, it was just like a really hectic so we just didn't move anything i just started packing stuff up today though it is almost 12 o'clock my mom was like let's do it let's do it meaning me me do it so i packed up the car all that's left there is like a couple of i feel so bad because not bad but like because i've been cycling through the same clothes and every time i get on here i'm like i think i've wore this even though obviously i'm washing my clothes i'm only keeping a limited amount of things out because everything is packed you know but i left like the girls bib socks stuff like that and clothes but like y'all know that look that big well, the dresser thing I filled it with toys things that they wouldn't necessarily need and packed that thing we got diapers in here got all their extra food snacks the whole shebang the diaper um genie because we just end up throwing the diapers outside like all that is stuff is packed so that way all we really have to move is that the playpen high chairs stuff like that because mm, mm, mm. once I get to the house though I'm just going to empty out the car and just place this stuff there I'm not going in like excuse me I'm not like putting things up I'm just getting it moved um, that way whenever he gets here he doesn't have to actually move things 
because that man has been working, working. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I just want to come on and say, hey, I haven't, I haven't spoken to y'all, I feel like, in a while. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited. So, another thing that's kind of crazy is I went back to posting um, content, like, on TikTok. Just TikTok. I have not really been on Instagram and like I said the more I'm off of it the more I'm just like meh that's all right but I did post on TikTok the other day and the the um like the feedback the comments were so overwhelming like people were like oh my god I thought you were gone for good we missed you and I was like <laughs> but I'm still not pushing myself to like get back to creating content just to say I'm doing it. I wanna make sure I'm doing it and enjoying it. And that's another reason why I'm like really taking my time getting back to Instagram. Because Instagram, y'all know, is just so curated and so, you know, Insta it's just annoying. <laughs> so I really don't wanna push myself into posting on Instagram until I'm completely ready to do that. But I have been enjoying posting long form over here on YouTube. The YouTube community is amazing. I love seeing my channel grow. And I feel like, I think I've said this before, but whenever you grow, for me, whenever you grow on YouTube, I feel it's so much more significant than on Instagram because people gotta like what you're saying over here. On Instagram, you know, you can be cute on TikTok, you know, whatever. Really, Instagram, you can be cute, whatever, people gonna follow you. On, on Over here, I don't know, people gotta enjoy you, your personality, what you got to say, what you are doing. Because if not, they ain't gonna follow, they ain't gonna subscribe. And so I feel like this community is even more tight-knit, even though I have way less followers over here than Instagram or TikTok. I feel like the community is so much better. Anyways, that's my little rant on social media. I'm about to go home and unpack this stuff, and I'll see y'all later. Hello, y'all. Happy Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday. It has been a time. I am tired. I'm not sleepy. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. But the finish line is near. Okay? Finish line is near. Work will be home tomorrow morning. It's, I've been waiting to say that for the longest. I just wanted to come on and I guess just let you know what's been going on. A whole bunch of nothing besides that moving that I did um, yesterday. Was that yesterday? Yeah. I don't even know. Everything is like literally jumbled together. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Another thing that's happening tomorrow is it's Cam's last day of her helmet. That is insane. Someone had said that we should get like a Build-A-Bear or just, you know, like a teddy bear and have her um, helmet on and then like her boots and bars once she like graduates from those. I thought that was really cute. Good morning, y'all. It is seven in the morning. Can got up. I, I should have known the last night could not have gone smooth. <laughs> we could not have. Cam got up at like 9 o'clock. We put them down at 7.30. She got up like 9, 9.30. She didn't go back to sleep till midnight. <laughs> Which I still got a lot of rest but like what what happened there? Um, what was I going to say? Um, Mark already texted me. He's on the plane already. So I'm very, 
very excited. <laughs> very excited about that because I'm ready to see my man, my man, my man. And I'm ready to disconnect. Granted, he does leave again in like a month. But it won't be that long. It won't be six weeks. Um, but still. So what I'm about to do now is just pack up like the rest of my clothes and have that situated already off to the side. Um, yeah, sorry. I already have this stuff situated and then I'm going to break down the playpen as well. Um, yeah, so we can get up out of here and go home. I am very thankful for all the help that we have had for my parents and my siblings and my sisters. But there's nothing like being in your own home, you know? Like, Give me something I'm not I don't need nothing. You are my everything. Only me, I know. Only me, I know. Only me, I know. Only me, I know. Only me, only you. Only me. get me and I'm like because he was going to uber from the airport because the uber, the uber is the airport is only about 10 15 minutes from here he said they're charging $50 $50 to go 10 minutes that's insane I have to be like is it a, a damn the sun is it a holiday or something but it's not what is going on? Why is it $50 at 8 in the morning? Questions that need answers. Either way, I'm on my way to go get Mark. I'm so, so excited, y'all. It's like such a huge relief, you know? Such a huge relief. Um, because like I said, I have had so much help. Like I would not, I can confidently say if I were alone for these six weeks I would have broke like I it would have been bad it would have been bad it would have been really really hard now I know like Yadi will be here next week like now once he leaves again we're gonna be getting out we'll be able to do things I'm not gonna just be in the house which causes that that spiraling that I get that I talk to my therapist and therapy about um so we are not gonna get to that and even even um whenever uh he does leave if i ever want to come stay over here because we have so the thing is we have mini cribs for the girls i don't know why we bought those when whatever we have mini cribs now they're growing out of it so we've got full size cribs standard size cribs for our house but we're gonna leave those mini cribs there so if we want to come over then we end up like it's late we can just stay the night there you know we're making moves i'm so excited to see him i'm so excited to see him see the girls because i know just as hard it is for me to to have him away and to struggle and you know do the solo parenting or whatever i know it's just as hard for him to be away knowing that he can't help anyway there he is look who it is y'all what up, y'all? What up, y'all? Oh my God, I'm so happy! Excited to see your babies? No. Mm. Twins. What have you been? 
We are packed to the brim in here. We are on our way home. Damn, that air was blasting. It is 57, but the sun is out and it is so hot. But we are on our way home. I can't even, I'm getting anxious about having to unpack and clean and do all that already. Y'all, we are back in our space. Don't mind everything. Okay, the house looks crazy. It looks, honestly looks crazy because one, we brought everything back and we have not situated it, situated it all yet situated it all the stuff it's so crazy to be home i want to clean so bad but i also know i need to rest so what i'm trying to do is trying to just put things in their spaces and then we will go on and clean from there but when you think of it i've only been home like three times and those three times have been super quick in the last six weeks so everything needs to get like deep clean <laughs> Looking at Cam and Parker play, and it's so wild because they like noises like um, the water bottles that crackles, you know, things like that, like Velcro pulling apart. They like sounds like that. Well, Cam's helmet has a strap right here, so Parker will be going at it. Duke, get out of there. Parker will go at it trying to, you know, get the strap. Get the strap. Try and get the strap to, like, you know, unhook it. And I'm just thinking, like, that's not gonna be a problem anymore after today. When we take this thing off at six o'clock, that's it. Ain't no more. Ain't no more helmet. This is her last full day of helmet wear. That is insane. I'm so excited. And it's just so funny to think of like, then what is she gonna do? Then it also makes me think like, what am I gonna do about her hair? Because I cannot use the, I cannot use the helmet anymore as like a scapegoat. And I'm gonna have to do it because she has so much hair. But I can always just throw on a bow, you know, but. Yeah, still. Other news, I have been deep into my books this month, y'all. My book bag has been deep to the point where I was thinking of doing, you already know I have like a whole bookstagram, but I was thinking of bringing it over here to YouTube because I wanna talk in depth about the books. I might start doing separate videos of like maybe like i was thinking a um what month are we march a march wrap-up of all the books like so far i've had like eight or nine books this month and it is the 19th so that's not bad that's really good so i might do something like that we'll see six o'clock six o'clock yeah this your last one baby this your Never last one <laughs> Never this see your last one again it's your last time this your last time, mama. I thought it only come out tomorrow, but. No, today. Today's the last day. I thought you said the 20th. T the 20th is the last day, like oh. you don't wear it. Hey, mama, yay! Yay! Yay, Lammy, it's free! Yay, yay. yay Lammy, yay. 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 yay! 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 It is Wednesday the 20th. Hello. So we had to get home, get settled in, and try and kind of clean. I think I talked to y'all about this. Try and kind of clean a little bit because, again, we moved everything and it was just so much. So we're working through that, but that's a whole nother situation. But now we are at oh, the, yeah. the doctor with the girls. They have our, their nine month checkup today. So Leo. So we're gonna see about that. We're about to go in and then um, see how these girls are doing. I think that um, it's so funny because I thought they I had got some diapers for them and they were too big because I was going off the weight because it's always it was always off a little because Cam had her helmet and she had her shoes and like all kinds of stuff. So we were always like guesstimating her true weight or whatever. Anyways. I'm excited to see. I think they're. I think Parker's a solid 
17 and Cam's like 18 and a half, 19 pounds. Which Cam is uh, 18 and Parker 18. Same, same. same. I do think Cam is taller though. Cam is taller. Yeah. All right, y'all. We are done. And these girls some heavy hitters, okay? Coming in at. Let me read this one first. Since Cam is baby A. Coming in at 19 pounds, 7.6 ounces, and 29 and a half inches. That girl at the 96 percentile. That's 96 percentile. I didn't see that, but 96. Yeah. That girl is tall. Very tall. Cammy. Damn top. And then coming in at 19 pounds, 11 ounces. Yeah. Standing out 28 inches even. Pie pie. <laughs> Me. Pie pie. <laughs> Just want to show y'all the stuff that we got from the store. We went to Sam's Club to re up on some stuff, and then we also went to HEB for just like things we didn't need a ton of, like bread, some eggs, tons of eggs because now the girls are eating eggs every morning for breakfast with like yogurt and stuff we got this variety pack of like um what are, i'm gonna say chips cookies because mm, i was gonna get like a humongous thing and i was like i don't i don't need that uh let's be for garbage bags <clears throat> almond milk and then these are just like the ingredients and stuff. Tomorrow, Mark is making chicken spaghetti. So cheese, cream of chicken, stuff like that. Noodles, spaghetti noodles. Then Mark got me some flowers. Daisies are my favorite. These are not daisies though. These are, he says, pom-pom, pom which are in the daisy family. Either way, they're pretty. So, Mama. I'll put these in. Got some asparagus and some salmon. Cause we haven't had this in a really long time. We haven't had any asparagus in a long, long time. We also got some rotisserie chickens. We got two because it's always just really easy to give the girls a little bit of chicken. Strawberries, chicken thighs. Chicken thighs. Shout out to Jasmine since she don't like chicken thighs. But over here in this household, we do. I do like chicken breast as well. I'm so tired. But we're gonna keep pushing forward. Two things of ground turkey. Give me some. Uh, Minute Maid Zero Sugar Lemonade. And then the fruit punch. Some downy. Now with these, let me tell you, I, we usually use the beads, but since I was at my parents, my mom uses the liquid. And I feel like the beads don't hit as good as the liquid does, so. Went back to the liquid. Even though we still have some of those like Look. beads or whatever, Look. we're going back to the liquid. Got re up on our oh, no. power spray. What is it? Power wash. I said power spray. Got some sparkling ice, zero sugar, the waters. The blue pack, it has the grape raspberry, black raspberry, classic lemonade, and cherry limeade. You said grape raspberry? Yeah. Great. That that's a new one. That was not in here at first. So I'm excited to try that. Avocados for me and the girls. Mark doesn't eat avocados, but we also got some yogurt and some pizzas, some foil. Oh shit. And some like disinfecting wipes. Y'all remember when I was trying to return those dang on diapers? We finally figured out where they were from. They were from Sam's. So, we got their new size now. <sighs> okay, I'm about to put this stuff up. But yeah, I would not, I, I would be lying if I said like I'm, I'm all right, because I am so tired. I don't know where I, this came from, but I am so sleepy. Once the girls go down, I am going down. I'm about to take a shower and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video though, friend. Even though it was all over the place. 
Um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and joining the crazy family. Oh, no. If you're not new here, thank you so much for rocking for me. Thank you so much. Right there, thank you so much for rocking with me. And I'll see y'all in the next one, y'all. Later. Later.